guys, Powerpin VK here, and welcome back to another episode of Craft Idea. You might be wondering, what are you doing in the market? Well, let me answer that for you. This episode is going to be completely surrounding making my shop. I was given a plot and I really want to start it soon so I don't wait forever. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I feel like it'd be rude for me to hold on just because I want to record an episode later, so I'm gonna do it right now. Episode four. So I have two shop ideas that I wanted to do. I wanted to make a bee shop like I mentioned in the last episode, and also I want to do something that I think people might want, and it has to do with the custom crops. My first idea was to make a grocery store, but I wanted to make something look like a little behind me, like uh, a little rustic-y-ish. So that's what I'm going to do. Enough talking about what I'm gonna do. Let's get to the time lapse of me building the grocery. No, it's not grocery. The, the market. No, what, what, what am I? What do I even know what to call it? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna name it Slash Warp Crop Shop. So let's get building. <laughs> And here we are, the somewhat finished product. So, <laughs> it's been a little bit since I finished this building and I added a few different things. I added this little like tavern-y sign and I made a pineapple, a blueberry, another pineapple and a tomato banner that actually said strawberry from what I got it from, but it looks more like a tomato. I obviously added in the custom crops and I started working on the inside and by the time this video gets up, I will start selling Okay, it does, I'm not selling a thing right now because I haven't decided prices, but yeah, this it's, has every single crop along with these. I mean, I didn't do pumpkins or melons because I'm lazy, <laughs> but that's, I'm liking the way that it's turned out. So yeah, this place is going to be at Slash Warp Crop Shop and it's going to sell all this stuff. It's going to sell the seeds. I have that just to like, you know, be a little prettier, but you go up the stairs and don't don't look at that that's nothing look at that i made a little freezer i'm just gonna sell these i don't know if it's gonna make any profit but it looks nice anyways anyways so that's it for my crop shop i really love oh i really love the way it turned out and if you're wondering wow this is such a nice build i'm still gonna do stuff on the sides i still need to figure this out but like wow mercedes power up you're a really good builder um yeah this is mythical sausages build <laughs> Um, if you know who that is, he's a YouTuber. I am, I'm trying my best to start building on my own, but actually, you know what? Let me do this really quick. On my own server, yeah, look how fancy that is. I built this house. I did a little differences-ish from Mythical Sausage, but yeah, um, I really loved the way this looks, so I made this. And I basically built just the entryway. I wanted to use it because I love it so much. Look, look how magical it is. Wow. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, let's start building our bee shop. Okay, so that looks a little bit different. <laughs> so I totally redid this build. I wanted to leave the time lapse in because I'm a hashtag builder. I didn't really like it. It didn't feel complete. Everybody has like full face shops, it seems like. So I wanted to make at least one of them it. And I love it. I love the design. I'm still gonna do a little bit of tweaks, but look at that cool friggin' beehive wall. 
It reminds me of Conker's Bad Friday, one of my favorite games. This is my little shopkeeper, dude. Now that I showed you my shop, I am going to, I don't know. I, this, this is my problem with the shop. I love the way that it looks, but I don't know what to do on the inside because if I add walls, it's gonna cut off my walls. So maybe I should do little like little stalls here. Would that look nice? And then I could do like one, two, three, one, two. Ooh, that matches up really well. Ah, I don't have any signs on me. Oh, I need barrels too. Oh my gosh, I am not prepared for this. Excuse me, thank you. Okay, it looks very dark in here, but I will fix that later because I'm still not sure what I'm doing. But let's just add some barrels. Oh gosh, I hope I have enough shop signs for this because I don't know how many I have left. So for bees, I know I could sell honey or bee wax, but I was thinking about selling some candles too. I've never made candles in my life. I've barely done anything with bees, even though I say that I love them all the time. I haven't really done much with them. Oh, this would be cute. Make like a nice little area and just, yeah, that looks good. I need to light it up, maybe make it a little more cute. Bring some more of the bees that are down here. I like it. I like it. Here, let me throw my arm around quick. Listerworks has a thing right here, right here. On the top of his plot. Yeah, the ranch. It's like a cool little uh, restaurant to you. I, I, a restaurant. Yeah, this is a restaurant, right? Super cool. But he has a, um, I, don't, I keep wanting to call it like a gondola. I don't think that's the name of it, but no, nice little rooftop terrace. And I'm wondering if everybody can do that because I might make like a nice little bee, bee cafe in another episode. I don't know. Maybe. I hate this helmet. I hate this helmet. It makes me feel like Magneto from X-Men. So let me show you the bee farm I made. I googled Minecraft bee farm and I clicked on the first one. I don't. Let me hold on. Let me look who it's by quick. Okay, it's by Waddles. I've never seen him before, but it was very simple bee design. I didn't even look anywhere else. I just did the first one that caught my eye, which was a very small build. So let's head on over there. It's very unfinished here. It's very dangerous, but this is the place under my farm. I've showed it. It was just a strip of land, but I've opened it to all of this 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 uh this bee factory i love bees i promise but they they all said that they wanted to work for me so they all have their nice little little homes let's call them <laughs> my problem is is that i bred so many bees i name tagged them all which was very expensive and they are they still were despawning so like i tried to keep a certain amount and did this it would all make honey it's a very it's a very simple design and i have this whole minecart system it is huge it is 32 bee farms under here it was very fun to make but very time consuming which is why i didn't do a time lapse because it took me a few days candle oh it's pretty easy okay sweet oh my gosh i'm excited i can make so many candles Oh my gosh, I want to make every single color, but I can't. Maybe I should just make one candle. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think that's going to be it. If you want to... Here again, it's slash warp crop shop for this beauty and slash warp b shop to go here pretty easy to remember so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this episode of craftadia i know it was maybe a little bit short it was kind of just like a buildy episode but i hope you enjoyed it regardless i hope you enjoy my shop i hope my prices aren't that horrible <laughs> so i'm not sure i'm definitely gonna do some research i think for prices but by the time this video goes up i will have everything set and some stock so i hope you come and visit okay Bye, guys.